My name is Kuniko Kanawa. I am originally from Japan. I have been living in the United States for 10 years. When I was in Japan, as I was growing up, I was never really interested in my own culture or traditions. The reason why was because now Japan is really westernized, so I was one of the typical modernized Japanese living in Japan and tried to pursue something something outside of Japan. So I've done a lot of uh, classical dance, jazz dance, hip hop, uh, modern dance, tap dance, classical singing, opera, gospel, that kind of stuff. And I really enjoyed it. But after I moved here in the United States, I began to realize what it is like to be Japanese. What do I know as Japanese? What can I share as Japanese? What can I pass to the future generation? So I started to seek my own cultural heritage. Then I began to create Japanese pieces using shogami paper, vintage kimonos. I also do fused glass, so I design the Japanese family crest and stuff, or Japanese design on diffused glasses. So, and also I began to take kimono classes and traditional classical Japanese dance class and bingata kimono dine techniques class. So now I am really interested in pursuing my own culture traditions and share them with people all around the world and pass them on to the future generation. Many people have seen the movie Memo of a Geisha. Tsumami Kanzashi is the Japanese hair accessory that Michael, actually they say Geisha, but that's actually Michael, the young version of Geisha. They wear them based on uh, four seasons. In Japan, we have four beautiful seasons and we mimic the beautiful flower based on four seasons and create a beautiful hair ornament and Michael they wear them. I create Tsumami Kanzashi. I have been making them for several years and this summer in 2007 I was accepted as a private pupil by one of the 15 acknowledged Tsumami Kanzashi master in Japan and those 15 acknowledged Tsumami Kanzashi artisans most of them do not have anybody to inherit their skills so it suddenly died out and I realized some of the parts for example this thread pink thread or gokuten thread there is no place to make that anymore that really shocked me so it certainly and rapidly disappearing so I strongly felt that I must continue this tradition so that they won't die out so I produce both traditional tsumami kanzashi and also modernized tsumami kanzashi because many people around the world they would like to look like little geisha and but they don't know how to use the traditional ones so I would like them to enjoy uh, our culture. So I make both type of tsumami kanzashi. Tsumami kanzashi was originally produced by the maize server in the uh, imperial court as their hobby. And at the beginning they were just having fun and making them. But eventually they were recognized by the Japanese society and people began to produce them as hair ornament or put them on a comb and stuff like that. So it became really popular. I mentioned about 15 acknowledged Tsumami Kanzashi artisans earlier and they really don't have anybody to inherit the tradition. I only know two people who will be carrying that tradition but most of them are old, probably mm -hmm. around 60 years old to 70 years old. 
so of course they don't live forever when they are gone it's gone so we have less and less people carrying that tradition